Well, with us now, John Rain, James Bond fan and a host of the Bond-themed podcast, Schmirsch Pod. You, can, you can't help, John, without saying that with a, with a slightly Sean Connery-ish accent. Um, it's one of those names that evokes all the, the kind of slightly comic book qualities of Bond. And yet, Daniel Craig seems to have been casting out in a different direction, a harder, darker Bond. Has it been a success? I, I suppose you could argue financially it has, um, but uh, from a from a fan point of view, I mean it's obviously attracted new kinds of fans. But uh, I don't know. It's 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 kind of depressive Bond, if you like. It's kind of emo Bond, and it's not really. It's difficult to say because it's been so successful financially. It's hard to gauge. But yes, I suppose you would conclude. I guess, uh, judging by your reaction there, you're not, you don't feel quite like Mr Chowdhury in that report that it's Christmas in August for you. Not really, no. I felt that, um, I mean, obviously, I, I, I thought he was brilliant in Casino Royale. I thought he was just what the franchise needed after Die Another Day anyway. Um, but I think gradually, film by film, it's kind of been diminishing returns for me personally. Uh, and uh, I, I felt that after Spectre, it needed a shot in the arm. It needed a, a, a refresh in probably all areas. Um, so to hear that he's doing one more, um, it just feels like going through the motions slightly. Uh, and I'm sure it will be lucrative motions for him as an <laughs> actor. And uh, there will be lots of people who will say, actually, he deserved the credit for having kind of given it a shot in the arm. Is it just one of those parts that you think increasingly it, the actors need to be changed frequently? You know, the idea that, in a sense, James Bond is not really a person so much as whoever happens to have the moniker 007 in front of their name for this particular period. Yes, I think so. I think it's also, it depends, it's dependent on age, because you, there's a very fine line with Bond, because you have to start in your mid-30s. And when you get to that point where you get to your late 40s, you become, you, you run that risk of looking slightly ridiculous with, you know, Rog running around the Eiffel Tower aged 58 years old or whatever he was in View to a Kill. And, and as, as your reporter said before, like, Daniel Craig's going to be 50, 51 by the time the next one comes out. And you run that risk of, you know, snogging 28-year-old women and just looking a bit ridiculous. A bit ridiculous and a bit, and a bit sleazy in some ways. Are there, are there elements, you think, that have changed in the way the character is portrayed? Because, I mean, there are lots of things that we're, you know, we're a lot more relaxed about, things like seeing a male and a female actor in bed together, but in some mm. ways we're a bit more censorious about, as you say, for example, the age difference. Yes, I think I think Bond has to toe that kind of politically correct line these days. But I think there's a there's a, there's a lot of people like who would like Bond to just cast it off and be Bond, you know, just like have a have fun because this Bond has certainly become um, s stuck in porridge, like a quagmire of, of misery and moroseness. That's just sometimes hard to take. It's, the last film particularly was like having a road trip with a manic depressive. It's like, you, you, the scenery is lovely, but you're not having a great time within the vehicle. Bond as Hamlet, it's an intriguing thought. Um, what, what about then the, the future? I mean, he's doing, he's doing one more, uh, which will be the 25th film, but there's no suggestion that the franchise is going to be wound up, certainly not at the point in which it's so lucrative. Who next? <sighs> Well, I don't know. I mean, I thought this would have been a great opportunity because Spectre ends in a kind of like, I've, I've quit, I'm driving off on my Aston Martin type deal. So this would have been a great opportunity to give someone else a chance. Like people have suggested people like Idris Elba I'd be keen on or um, Tom Hardy, Michael Fassbender. But these people are obviously getting older as well. So by the time the next one comes out... I was say, Idris Elba is probably going to be too old by that point, isn't he? Oh, yeah, yeah, without a doubt. But by the time the next cycle comes along after he's quit... You're looking at a whole new group, and um, I just don't know. Could a woman be 007? Why not? That's an intriguing thought. Any names that come to mind? <laughs> oh, God. Um, not off the top of my head, no. Well, but, you know, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> well, Jenny Whistler is, ever, is already spoken for for Doctor Who, but I'm sure there's somebody else out there. John Rain, yeah. thanks very much. Uh, privilege to speak to you. And I hope one way or another, for all the depressing moments that you'll still enjoy, Bond 25. Thanks very much for joining us here on BBC News.